Woke as me. Well, yeah, Fonte. I feel like I should have been on that remix. Uh. I feel like I had some bars. I for feel that. like yeah, you. <laughs> I feel like I had some bars for that. I'm like yo, but here's the thing: the the, the video game between the sex work and the hoteps. This is a pet peeve Woken. of mine. Mm-hmm. Because I'm black and because I'm pro black, mm-hmm. and because I'm aggressive with my opinions, uh-huh. people call me a hotep. And I don't get offended by many things, but I'm offended by that. Now I, I, I have a problem with that word too. Yeah. And, See, I, and I had to I had to kind of give up because I used to fight about that word. I used to fight. I used to my fights on Twitter uh-huh. was about that word. I want to hear your take on it because I got a very nuanced take. Okay, well mine is this. Like, so I came up in the early 2000s on college campuses. Okay, so you and me have a similar take. So you know, like. Yeah. I used to we we used to say hotep to each other hotep. and like That's the, a greeting. the gen the genuine greeting like and mm-hmm. and it was said with love and it right. was and it was it wasn't said in a way to try to um, demean anybody or get over or, or trick but some people was some people didn't have the best intentions mm-hmm. and but it wasn't just about the word it was about being Afrocentric That's at right. a time when that wasn't what society was on mm-hmm. That's right? right so when I heard hotep like kind of twisted into uh-huh. like a slur. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> hold on, but that's that's, and then and what made it worse was to find out that there's men who took that as a term of endearment and said, I, "Call me Hotep," yeah. and and I'm I'm gonna put my misogynist views into this. I know the dude who's responsible for it yeah. personally. Yeah, it's one guy. <laughs> so I agree with you. I grew up Hotep is a positive thing. Yeah. I grew up listening to Gary Bird on W uh B A I. Okay. He used to call himself uh M Hotep Gary Bird because hmm. he was fascinated with Egyptology and, and the scientist right. mathematician M Hotep. Right. Always a positive thing out, out outside of the inside of the Afrocentric right. academic community. Right. But as someone who appreciates comedy, mm-hmm. you gotta admit. When they first started calling them type of like what they call ashy niggas, like mm-hmm. when they first started calling them hoteps, that shit's kind of funny. And I can't, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I saw it. I, I saw it. It's just kind yelling, of funny. Like they're the ones that's yelling on the street, right? Oh, Try that's, that's the simplistic. Israelites. That's, that's a, a he, simplistic. But it's kind of like they they put they group them in that. So you know what? It, here's what it is. So people who the people you were talking about, yeah. right? The, Afrocentric people who wear it on their sleeve. Mm-hmm. They might smell like frankincense. You could smell them coming in the room. Yeah, they smell like room. incense. Exactly. Yes, they do. You exactly. Know, they'd be like, Hotep Sister Peace. Right. The problem is a lot of these type of people still had very toxic views, yeah. views and attitudes towards gay people, mm-hmm. towards women. And they took the sort of cultural black nationalism to mean I need to imitate my oppressor and be as like, you know, male-centric and male-dominant. And, and so... The sisters in that community, as not even that community, but sisters who get approached by these type of dudes on the street, started being like, "That's the whole, that's that whole tap shit." Yeah, mm-hmm. like that's th- real. That's you know what I'm saying? Because we yeah we burned it for sure. Yeah, we burned it. Yeah, like, it, it's it's our fault, right? Right. But like, I just I hated that they took the power from the because word, you knew though. what it meant to you exactly. And so it's the same exactly. for me. It's the same thing as. Uh, the guy who made Pepe the Frog, mm-hmm. and then the Nazis took that over, yeah. and he kept trying to be like, "No, he tried no, no, so hard. Yeah. Pepe the Frog doesn't represent that." And at some point, he just gave up. You know mm-hmm. what? You're yeah. right. There's some Nazi shit now. Yeah. Um, and so that's for me what Hotep became. Mm. Um, but those people before, so this guy, you know, and I'm not even giving, say his name on my show because he doesn't deserve that. But his story is worth telling. Hmm. There's a guy. No, fuck it. I'm gonna say his name because <laughs> it's not as good without his name. This kid named Brian, who called himself Vibe High on Twitter. Okay. And I saw a video where he was burning his Jordans, and he made a very eloquent speech about why we shouldn't be supporting Nike. And I got Nikes on. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm still black. You know what I'm saying? But I felt him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, I'm right, like, right. yeah, I, I fuck with that. Okay. Started following him, and he had some positions I thought that I agreed with. But then he started dissing Black Lives Matter mm-hmm. early, like in 2014, which is a very, it was a very popular thing to do, right? Mm-hmm. And there's some, there's some valid criticisms to be made about how activist work is rolled out and presented sure. in public space. Sure. But his crit- critique of them was, they be on that gay shit. Right. That's his main critique. See, that's... You know what I'm saying? And so I didn't realize that was his critique. I liked him as an activist. This is when I was going to Ferguson back and forth. Mm-hmm. And I'm having these meetings and I'm, I'm trying to bring the community together. So I invited this man to my home. Sat him down. I'm like, yo, the way you be going at the sisters from Black Lives Matter, like we all in this together. He's like, yeah, but they be on that gay shit. And you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I realize, oh, this is a bigot. Mm. Okay, so I have to deal with him differently. Right. So we, we agreed to disagree. And I was like, look, 
because I'm cool with you and I'm cool with them, can you just not publicly talk shit about them? Mm -hmm. And he did it for a couple of months, but then he did, and then he started talking shit about me, mm. and then he started embracing the whole because he was called the Hotep. So he said, "Well, I'm I'm Hotep Jesus." Right. And he became Hotep Jesus. I remember that. I remember that name. Right. And he became big on Twitter because then he became a Trump supporter, and then he started doing interviews on Fox News. See, that's full circle. And then he did the uh, Blexit shit with Candace Owens. He was at the White House, like cooning at the White House, dancing and shit. And I say all that, he is the type of motherfucker that I associate with that hotep shit. Mm. And people, because I'm pro-black and loud sometimes, mm -hmm. they be like, he's hotep. Nah, them hotep niggas came at me before y'all knew what a hotep nigga mm -hmm. was. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think I just got off subject. In fact, <laughs> it's about a woke off. So my question is, who wins in a woke off between me and you? Oh, you do. <laughs> They easy. You answered that too easy. Easy. Nah, I ain't, I'm, look, I ain't got the energy no more, man. <laughs> I mean, so I, Liv definitely has the energy. Yeah, he got the energy. The I ain't got it. I ain't got it. I, don't, I, get, I need to take whatever vitamins you take, man. I, ain't, I get tired. Oh, man. I love your verse in that song. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know, and the way we did them songs, man, like, because I had to have... I had to have the song mostly written because it's mm -hmm. for TV. So we had to have mm -hmm. videos yeah. playing and everything. I had to have the songs mostly written before we even started shooting the TV. So like, mm -hmm. you know, I did my half of that verse, I mean, my half of that song in the hook and then, you know, sent it back to him. And I mean, like, it couldn't have sounded more perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. for like his his verse is literally the one he sent us. Like, you know what I'm saying? And he, he came he out here. And, it. Yeah. Like first try was it was it was just perfect. Absolutely mm -hmm. perfect. No doubt. What we don't start it. Look at what we don't start it. This the people party. When opportunity knocking, then young nigga move that door. Get your foot stuck in it, call me young, go get it. They can't fuck with it, my slow one way. What's the world with